All right. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you have already completed the ServiceNow fundamentals course. And now you want to go ahead and register for the exam because you're ready to pass it. Simple as that. So if that's the case, then stay tuned because I want to go through all the steps you need to know and be aware of when you're registering for your ServiceNow system administrator exam. Stay tuned. Dear me, Dear me. three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Tech Xavier, where I help me help you go further in tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to claim your free voucher and how to register for the exam. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Actually, hold on. Before we get started, real quick kind of public service announcement. If you don't feel ready to take the exam, don't take the exam. But if you're second guessing all the work that you objectively have done to prepare for the exam and you know you put in the work, then take the exam. As someone who has postponed an exam in the past and has lived to dread it in the future, it doesn't serve you. Strike while the iron is hot. Attack this exam while the information is fresh so that you can be done with it and have passed it successfully. All right, that's it. Let's go ahead and get into the demo. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to sign into our account, right? So sign into the same account that you signed into when you started and completed the course. So I'm going to do that by going to ServiceNow Learning. And it's going to take me through some stuff to verify who I am and all that. I'm going to go through that process and I'll be right back. All right, so now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and just navigate over to the trophy. And I believe under my profile, there we go. We're going to look for my vouchers. Go ahead and click on that. And once you get here, we're going to look at quickly the voucher process. But if you want to skip that and just click claim, you can click claim voucher right here in the middle. But let's go ahead and look at more information about the certified system administrator voucher, just so you can understand what this is. So once you click on that link, it'll bring you to a page like this and you should see that wonderful $300 learning credit waived and available for you to claim or apply to the cost of the exam. So really quick, we're gonna look at this page a little bit more in depth just to kind of get an understanding of what the voucher is because I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I got a little confused about what is the voucher process and vouchers exist for just about any, any kind of combo learning and exam course you take, they'll provide you with a voucher and you can claim the voucher and apply it within so much time. So let's just read this here from the top. It says you are now eligible to obtain the ServiceNow Certified System Administrator exam voucher. You have one year from the date of course completion to obtain your voucher from the My Vouchers page and complete the certification exam through Web Assessor. So remember when we first got started and I'll link that video above here if you haven't gotten started. But if you have, then you created a Web Assessor account. And that's what's going to be used when you're claiming your voucher. And one thing I want to kind of tell you about vouchers are that when you claim a voucher, you do not, you're not obligated to take the exam right then and there. So that's another question that people have. So what a voucher is, is you can think of it like a gift card, right? Someone loads up a gift card with some money, they give it to you. And based on the terms of that gift card, you have certain places you can apply it, right? Maybe you got a Chili's gift card or AMC gift card when you really wanted that Visa vanilla gift card where you can use anywhere. Um, so you have limits in terms of where you can apply it. So that would, in this case, that would be the exam just for ServiceNow, specifically the Certified System Administrator exam. But in addition to that, you also have an expiration date accompanied with that voucher. So in this case, once you claim the voucher, it's valid from the time you claim it until one year. Now let's go ahead and 
move from this page. Now, again, if you haven't done so already on this screen, I want you to click that dark turquoise. I don't know what color that is, teal. I don't know, color claim button, and that'll allow you to get the voucher. And once you've done that, I'm gonna show you what that screen looks like. So once you've claimed the voucher, you should see a page like this. It'll say certified system administrator expires whatever date you claimed your voucher, it'll expire a year from that date. And then below that, which I have blurred out here for obvious reasons, you'll have your claim or voucher number. Okay, so that voucher number, when you go to pay for your actual exam, when you, after you registered for it, you set a date and all that, which I'll show you later, you're gonna take this code and basically paste it in the same way you would a promo code if you're trying to get a discount. Only this is the best promo code you can get because it's 100% off. The certification candidate journey guide. Again, this will go through all the different stuff that you can look forward to when you're preparing for the exam and just things to kind of keep in mind. So it says here on the home screen or this first screen, it says ServiceNow is proud of its world known certification program and diligently works to protect the integrity of the program and each certification holders investment. So in short, they want you to, you know, maintain integrity when you're doing this. So be honest, no cheating, none of that stuff. And really as a professional, it doesn't serve you anyway. So just do this thing the right way, prepare. And then once you've gotten the exam, that should open doors for other opportunities where you can actually play around in the environment with real companies and demonstrate what you know in a real environment. All right, now, so if you're, if you're taking this exam online, you're gonna be using this Cryptarian, Cryptarian software. Did I say Cryptarian? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about crypto. Criterion strongly recommends the use of a non-work related or personal computer for online proctored exams, okay? All right, so again, this is kind of what your voucher looks like. So you're gonna to wanna to navigate back to your web assessor login page. If you didn't bookmark this early on, I think I can provide a link. Let me see if I can find one real quick. Okay, so here's the link here. It's webassessor.com forward slash service underscore now. Okay, so that'll take you to this. If you haven't created an account, please create one. It's free to do. And this is how you're going to actually pay for the exam and take it. So on the bottom, you're just gonna log in using your whatever account you created to log in. And then once you're in, you're going to go ahead and click on the top. There's a link that says register for an exam. So on the very top header in light green, you'll see my certifications, receipts, and then register for an exam. Go ahead and click on that link. And if you notice, the certified system administrator is probably one of the first ones you see. So there are two ways to take the certified system administrator exam. And when you open or click the plus sign, you'll see both methods. So method number one is the online proctored, and that should be on the top when you're looking at your buy now options. Make sure you read that carefully. I almost clicked on the on-site proctor or thought it was the same thing. So <laughs> you do not want to do that. Go ahead and buy the online version if you're doing this from home and you're taking that. All right, and then once you've selected the either on-site or online version, you're gonna to come to a page like this where you can select your time zone first. And once you select your time zone, then the calendar in the middle of the screen will become available and you can select your the date that you wanna take it. All right, and then once you've selected your date, your time, all that good stuff, then you, go, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page, read through all the different terms, check the box, and then click select. And once you've hit select, it'll bring you to the final kind of order screen. It'll look like this. This is, you make sure that you're scheduling the correct exam, that the details match up. I'm taking mine on Saturday, August 6th, and then it'll show the price. What you're gonna do, there's a field that says a coupon voucher code. You're right to the left of the big apply button, paste that code from the voucher here, and it'll waive the fee. All right, so that does it for today's video. Hopefully this was helpful. So if you haven't gotten started, check the link above to go ahead and get started. Register for your exam because this thing will expire or this opportunity will expire 
at the end of August. So make sure that you're all set up and ready to go. And with that said, thank you for watching as always. If you found this helpful, click the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this with someone else who's taking the exam. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Dear me, Dear me. three to six months, watch how I make you proud.